Hey everybody. So I just had my partner, um, who I relieved, whose post this is permanently, um, show up. Oh, daddy. And, uh, he told me to park here. And, um, the whiz kid, Mr. Che Mr. Um, Cheese Whiz, um, a whiz kid, I think that's a wizard, the baby of, the baby of a wizardry, f a whiz kid's technically Harry Potter, but Harry is such a weak name, you know, sounds like more of a woman's name, like Bush, what a womanly name that is. To call someone Harry? Um, is a compliment, unless you're not Harry. I mean, Harry Potter, I don't think he went through puberty until after the seventh series. So, I mean, he's not very Harry in that sense. Um, but my partner had just been relieved. Um, I don't know if he's hiding in his bushes. This is where he told me to park. Um, sorry, my zipper stuck. Come on, buddy. You can do it. But it's 11. I'm clocked in. I'm supposed to be having uh, my immediate supervisor show up. He's going to do a roll call, but he's not calling. And, um, sorry, my zipper still suck. But, um,. It's very interesting to run an Autobahn. Um, I definitely want to walk as much as humanly possible. Um, but my partner, the guy who I just relieved, has left. So, see that I walk alone. Come on. Which I could do, because it's the end of the world anyway, and I'm just... I don't know who my audience is right now, but every time I turn the camera on, you think that you have something to say, right? Oh, my glove got stuck. That's what happened. There you go. Now I'm good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to find my brother. It's always about money. It's always about punitive damages. And it's just more salt in the wound. Um, the guy who just left was ex-military. And I try to use that because um, it's grain of salt. Take everything with grain of salt, but there's salt in the wound, so. Just bought some black velvet. Were they sponsored? It was, it was liquor that was sponsoring, the alcohol that was sponsoring the liquor store. Um, It's very cool. It's 11. I'm all alone, which is the way I didn't know that this is how I wanted it to be, but this is the way I wanted it to be. Because I'm always, I'm very manipulative, but to me, I think it, as a positive sense where I use it to behoove, I use negative, I channel the negative energy. Because a lot of people in overhead, a lot of authoritarians or authoritative figures are unable to channel energy. Um, and so that's ultimately the only thing I could do. I'm a conductor. I'm a conduit. And I, all I know how to do is take negativity and make it positive. There's a flat tire right there, so I won't be taking that car. I'm supposed to be taking this car tonight. Uh, my dad calls marijuana the devil's lettuce. And he more or less pretty much wrote the book on uh, marijuana madness, on the reefer madness that was that went around. Um, that movie. Um, he's technically... He just yelled at me this morning, I'm not your grandfather, but he's technically my... A very granddad-esque figure. 
where, you know, you really can't, you're not really allowed to, <laughs> he has a set up to where you're not even allowed to say anything to him. Um, because he thinks he's leading by influence. And I mean, that slogan itself, leading by influence, is pretty, um, kind of throws you off, right? Um, so, yeah, I certainly lead by influence. I don't know any other way. I'm a high-functioning autist. Um, I suffer from hypercuity. I read prime numbers, whatever beautiful mind had John, John Nash I have and um, I don't really feed off others I don't need others to feed off of me um, here that's what I'm looking at I just um, I just I, I don't probably I probably if you think of me as somebody that's lidless that doesn't have any lids cause I just I can't sleep. Um, Officer Sanders, the guy, my, the guy, not the schedule or who, I said he's my immediate supervisor, but, um, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. My other, the, the, originally that was my schedule, but my immediate supervisor, Officer Sanders, um, is supposed to be calling me, um, to be showing up. He's at another post, so I'm sure he's he's en route. But Henry, the guy who I relieved, just took off. Um, all I did was pull up my car. Um, so this is going to be interesting. I saw one cop. That's not a cop right there. Um, but it's about 12 dealerships that I'm just going to zigzag, diagonal, crisscross. And as I said, I turned this on and I felt like I had something to say. And I started kind of on a tangent and I kind of was trying to run with it. Um, but, I mean, I don't know, I guess my cousin's right when he said Theo Vaughn has his Twitter bio as I'm your second cousin. And a lot of cousins, they always say, well, you think you know, but you have no idea. And it's kind of apropos, you know. No matter how many cousins you have, one or a thousand. That's pretty much words to live by. You think you know. You know, MTV Real World. Um... But, so that's, that's a plus, that I get to drive my own car. Uh, as a plus is there's a cop. Honestly, I'm pretty chill. I could do this all day. I could just walk in circles all day. And, uh, 